Hi there, Michelle Crafty Servings. We got a big view today because I'm doing, uh, it's, it's almost like a porch leaner, only I wouldn't put it outside. I would put it in the house or an enclosed porch. So come on, say hi, let me know you're out there. And I mean, we're starting with these Dollar Tree little sticks that you put in the ground. So, so I know I'm a little bit farther away. All right, so these are these are what we're going to be using on there besides a lot of other things. But what I've got here, let's pull this up. I've got this board. I'm thinking it was, it might have been like a Home Depot or I don't know, Home Depot or um, Lowe's or something like that. It's five and a half, or it's, let's see, 36 inches tall um, by five and a half inches wide. All right, and I'm just gonna stain this up. You won't see a lot of it, but you might see peaks of it. sharp on here that will that should scratch it so we should be good all right stain it up you can do the front and the back I just want to, now I can take this off we're not gonna need any more staining all right Dollar Tree Dollar Tree now We've got the floral blocks from Dollar Tree. All right, so we've got these floral blocks. All right, let's get these out. These are from Dollar Tree. They're just adorable. Now, you could add some painting. You could zhuzh it up, whatever you want to do. I think they're simply adorable the way they are. And they've got these sticks on. Now, I'm just going to try and lift these sticks off they're a little bit they are um like nailed on but it just actually popped off if not i'm just going to get out of um a butter knife and i'll pry it off so what these are going to go is they're going to be going on like this. I just want to get sort of an order. We're going to put them on like this, like this, and like this. Now I'm going to turn this again so you can see what I'm doing. But behind, because I want them raised because I want to put some florals behind there. Again, I'm not a floral person, but I can do this. I, I can do it. Thank you. Hello, hello. All right, so I'm just going to lay these floral blocks and just, again, piece it out. The one I'm going to have, the Santa, I'm going to put right up on top. And just place it on. Push it down really well so it adheres really well. Use whatever kind of glue you want to use. I'm using my Gorilla glue sticks today. It just adheres faster. I do have it on the high temp. I probably should switch it to the low temp, but when you do the low temp, you get so many of those strings. Although, it probably isn't the worst thing, right? I can heat that up to get rid of them. Maybe I'll do that. I really don't want to be burnt by this bubbling glue, right? Super, super cute. So, all right, so here we've got these again. I'm going to just lay them on here once again. So, I'm going to put the Santa at the top. I'm going to put the snowman next. Again, we have to slant them or they won't fit. We'll put this green. Now I'm trying to space out the color. I like the, the shape of the hats of them. 
and then we'll do this. So, sort of got, I sort of had a plan of what I want to do here. <laughs> of these off of vine. I got this vine on clearance last year from Hobby Lobby and look at the gold tips on here and it was a long thick full vine. Last year I think I actually had it on my mantle but it's just so big and full that I, I'm, I'm piecing it apart. I'm using it for different things. I'm just loving the little gold tips on it. So this is what we're using and I'm going to be taking it apart. Be putting some of this in. This will be our green part of it. So I'm already a part of here. Again, I'm not a floral person, so if I can do this, you can certainly do it. I'm just taking apart every every section, and then we're gonna cut it down a little bit, I think. <laughs> here and just place some of these in. Now I am using glue just because I don't trust that foam to split. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue on and then I'm just going to start sticking them into that foam. I'll turn that one because that one seems like the glue is on top. Just gonna stick it, stick it around, stick it, stick it around. This is where I'm gonna be standing and sitting and standing and sitting. left and then I'd have to go down to my vine but I don't think I have to that vine has gotten a workout lately okay, let's take that out of there all right next we're gonna take we're gonna just gradually add in some color we got this was from Hobby Lobby 50% off this week I believe for oh no these are Christmas florals so they're they're yeah obviously they are 50% off
sticking a little bit between that green, but we're going to be adding some white in too. Um, some snowy white, which will go good with the green too. But look at how cute that skin is. <laughs> white. We're going to add some snowy picks in and I've got, what do I have here? Two. I have five of these snowy picks so I do have to space them out. These are picks from Hobby Lobby. They're normally 99 cents and everything's 50% off so 50 cents a piece. <laughs> Try and hold this up again. I got stuff stuck to it. Hold that up again. Wow, that was hot. I wasn't even thinking I was going to touch near it. All right, so let's start adding some color, and then we'll um, we'll do that with berries, and then we'll add some ribbon in to add some color. So I have two kinds of berries. I love these that I'm going to get some more to have for through the year. These are Hobby Lobby ones and they're actually sort of lightweight. I think they're styrofoam so you have to be careful with them. But they're just cute and they're nice and big. They're not the glass covered ones which I love too by the way. I don't have them. So we're going to add color with these and we're going to add color with... Oh, I have gold ones. Where did the gold go? Let's get these over here. I'm stuck and I'll twist it over here. And we're going to add some color with these. Off. 
this one is going to go up on the top of here. That would be really, really cute there. show you up close this way all right it's so big it's so big all right let's go now i can show you this way you can see all the way to the top all right that might be a filler at the end all right so i have three different ribbons i'm not sure if i'll use them all let's put this over here i have this one this one i'm probably only going to use a couple pieces i have this one, which will be really, really cute in here. And I have this one. So I'm not thrilled that it doesn't have back to it. So I think it would be a lot cuter if it did, but we'll see. We're just gonna cut some of these and I'll show you how I'm gonna do them. This is, this is do, do you. Um, we'll just cut. We're gonna cut these in half. These are just pipe cleaners. Yeah, the red is really cute. This is, you know, this is gonna be really cute in here too. So let's just do some of these. And I'm gonna fold up. It's gonna be easy. It's not even a bowl that I'm doing. I'm just gonna fold that up. Several of them. Let's do three of them. We can always add more. I think we'll probably, you know, this is going to be the predominant ribbon though, so maybe we'll do more of them. Let's do five of them. So I'd say I'm probably doing it about 12 inches long, maybe 10 inches long. So dovetailing, I just, I have both ends together or dovetailing both at the same time and I'm just cutting up. If you haven't done dovetail bowls before, they're very, very simple to do it that way. You can do each side one at a time, but I just have it folded already. Mm -hmm. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm going, let's see, am I gonna do it like this? Yeah, I'm just gonna twist that in there like that. And this is what it's gonna look like. That's all I'm gonna do. On the other one, when I was practicing, I, I wrinkled it all up like that, wrapped it around, but I think it's a lot better this way. I think it works better. This is a long live, isn't it? I apologize. <laughs>
I'm just going to glue it the way it is. I like it sticking out of the top. I could have done that one taller. Just wait, just wait, just wait before I tie. Well, let's tie this one yet. I got another idea. Got another idea. So I did this for pumpkins one year, and I, I, it was my favorite thing that I did also, and I thought about it, and it, it worked so good, is... cleaners slide inside oh look at that pipe cleaners slide inside of there and then we can twist them that's what we're gonna do all right that's what we're gonna do we may not use those other ones so I'm just going to just put a little dab inside of here to hold that top together so that top doesn't come open. So be careful so you don't burn yourself when you do that. Let's get, uh, let me bite. Here, I got a pencil. Let's do this. We're going to stick some of these in there. What do you think about that? Now they're not very solid using pipe cleaners. So again, you're going to, it's just going to end up being glued on somewhere. Sticks are getting stuck. You got it. So I'm just going to end up gluing that in greenery because it's not. But that just adds another whole texture to it. I'm going to get this out of the way. moving things out of the way that we don't need. Yeah, I did this for pumpkins and I did it with, I think, brown in the middle. And you could do it with green or something in the middle. And it turned out so cute. I was so happy that I did that. Um, and I had never seen it done before, so it actually... I was happy how it turned out. There. And again, I just pinch out that front end so we don't have that frayed. And we'll cut the bottom. Cute, cute, cute. All right, and I'm just, I'm just gonna be gluing. Um, it's not going to the floral pick. So I don't think it needs, it, or into the floral foam. It's just gonna be glued on there. That's really, really, really cute. Okay, I hope this. I don't know if that one's going to stay. Well, we might have to adjust that. You could do these with different colors. So I have the red in here. Uh, we could do this with green to have some of the green. Whatever colors you have would be cute. White would be cute. That would 
kind of smart if I use that one. If you're hopping on um, and you didn't see the beginning, these are all these shapes here are Dollar Tree. Hello, Shelly. Yes, this is tubing from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just putting a pipe cleaner in it so that you can do that. So... So if you watched, if you watched my um, Santa Claus video with the raffia beard, I have made also, I don't even know if I need this. I had made a shorter one that I wasn't sure if I was going to use. And I didn't for the mustache. So I've been having fun playing with this. We're just going to use a couple of strands. And tie a knot. So if you didn't watch that video and see curling it and everything, go check out the Santa Claus video. It is on my YouTube channel also. And it's actually a lot more abbreviated. Not a lot, because it was only a 45 minute video, but... Um, so I'm going to just take this and stick this in a few places, just with a little bit of glue again. This is really turning out cute. All right, let's do, I feel like I should do, I'm gonna do two of these bowls, <coughs> excuse me, because I can do one on the bottom down here where there's a space that I'll show you, and I can do one on the top. So I'm gonna do one off this bottom edge, and I'm gonna do one off of the top edge. And then we'll just get the button. I have one other thing that I could put on, and I'll let you guys decide. I guess I'm not sold on putting that on. It's just a one pick, but we'll see. Do two of these. This is from Kirkland's. So I don't know if I got it at Kirkland's or where I got it. Its brand is Kirkland's. Not sure, and it has the black trim on it, which is really nice. 
This one will be a little long. And I'm just dovetailing these ends. You know, let's do wire. just fold it like this so I've got it folded in half and then I'm going to put wire around that and we're going to stick it in so that ends will stick in and the bolts stick out or the bolt ends will stick out and the bolts stick out and that's going to come down from here so get some glue on here. We're not gonna do one on top yet, and then we'll grab that. Look at how that ribbon looks down there. So that's our cube. So I'm going to finish it off. That's down the bottom. I'm going to do one up on top here yet, and then we'll we'll call it a day. We'll go find a button quick, and and then I think we're done. I'm tired. This is so long. I'm tired. Oops, I did that wrong. All right, so I've got it folded in half already here. I'm going to just put it around the middle here. So I've got the loop on one side and I've got the dovetails on the other side. And then I'm just twisting this wire. This off. And I'm gonna see, so that's down on that side. So I have to do one on this side. Oh, I feel like that side is so full. We'll do it in there. We'll do it in there. Let's just put some glue down there. It needs something there anyhow. Get some little ones out just in case. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer, you gotta see what I did. You guys, check out Jennifer with uh, She's Crafty USA. Jennifer, go ahead and drop your link here, please. She is my sponsor for Magnolia. And oh, she just blesses all of us. She's amazing. All right, I'm going to do this as a heart, I believe. Just look at that. Said, if I had a star, it, I would do that. I'm just looking where other places, you know what? No, we're, we're doing a tiny one just to say there's a button because there's so much going on. A button for the snowman's mouth. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what we're doing. I do like this. And we're going to do one more. I could have done on these little holly berries too, but you know what? I'm just going to do one. I'm just going to do one. And we're going to say, well, Nicole, I have stuff hanging everywhere. This, you've seen how much stuff I've gone through. But... All right, let, let me show you, let me show you. 
So Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. These are garden sticks. Garden sticks. These were on. Four of them. There's the Santa. There's the snowman. And you can do it on a garden stick. Just use one and, and do this on a garden stick. Okay. Oh, that was the, the part that fell off. But, all right, let's do up close. So, floral foam behind. And again, I'm not a floral person, so I know somebody's going to be able to do this so much better than me. But look at all the way, all the way. I don't know how to show you this whole thing. Let me just see if I can't turn you up. There. That's a little better. There we go. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Look at all the different textures in there. This is a, this was just the tube tubing that I put in um, the mesh tubing. We put in a pipe cleaner. That was the last thing I put in. Um, but there's just so many things. And honestly, this whole thing probably maybe $15 to put together because all of this was Dollar Tree. The vines were clearance last year at Hobby Lobby, so it was really, I think it was 75% off when I got it. So that's all the extra pieces of that. Um, just minimal ribbon. The All these picks are on sale right now at Hobby Lobby. You can get some of it at Dollar Tree. Raffia, it, it's just so, so reasonable to do it. So let's just see if we can see if I can get it in here. There. How is that? 